Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I am back with my Alphawise U50. Friends, it was broken for a long time. I posted a couple videos asking for some help. A user named Luis happened to see that request and hooked me up, and friends, we are back in business. The steps to fix it were pretty darn simple, so let's get cracking. So my friends, the link that got shared with me by Luis took me to Gearbest where I bought it, and now this is called the U21. Now it's not quite the same because I can see here it says that there are double Z. Mine only has a single Z, so I'm a little worried about using the exact same firmware, but it is that firmware that let me solve it. I will add a link to this, of course, in the description, but if we scroll all the way down, here is the firmware pack. It's making me sign in before we can actually go there. I'm going to go back down and let's download that again. And I'm going to simply put it in one of my folders. I've got a special folder for the U50, so I'll save it in that folder. All right, friends, so here is that U50 firmware file. I'm going to unzip it with 7-zip, and I'm going to put it right here. It gives us a folder called U20 firmware. I'm not going to put this on my printer because I'm not sure it's for my printer yet. My printer was printing fine the way it was. I don't generally update firmware unless I'm having troubles. So I did put the firmware file on the SD card when I was at home and it failed because it was still stuck on that font update error. While I was working through that, I went into these folders and I saw that the system has a folder called font. So I simply hit copy on that and I pasted it to the SD card. I did have to tell it yes and let it not have the system properties. And that's when I took this simple folder that had the system and the fonts and that other folder. And that's what made the printer so it was working again. So let's take this SD card over and see if it updates a second time or since it's already fixed, if it just lets it go by. Alrighty friends, so I'm holding the SD card right here. This is just showing you that if we power it on, Boom, the Alpha Wise is back in business, which makes me so totally happy. Once again, I just added those files here, that simple folder called System. If I shut this off and I put that in, let's see if it updates a second time or if it recognizes that it's in there. There was a tiny little screen that popped up. There was some text, I think, that probably recognized that the fonts were fine and it totally skipped that System folder. Let me really quickly show you which printer I got. This is the U50 and I'm using firmware 195. Once again, I am not gonna update to the AlphaWise U21 because mine does not have that second Z axis. Alrighty friends, so I am so excited to have the U50 back in business. Huge shout out to Luis. Oh my gosh, thank you for all the messages back and forth, giving me ideas and just getting me back thinking about the U50. Friends, if you're not using the Facebook groups for these printers, you are missing out on one of the coolest resources if you're ever stuck. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.